Hey, what up? Good morning, YouTube. Thank you for watching. It's your fellow recovery, Jess. Um, I gotta, I gotta start it like this, guys. If we're ever gonna change it, we need to fucking understand it first. I didn't really think about it until I was watching this dude on the West Coast explain it. But I was thought in order to stop addiction or homelessness or whatever the fuck it might be, housing, housing would fix that. Yeah, for some it might, but for most it, it's not gonna work guys, it's not, okay? And that's the fucking bottom line truth right there, all right? Now I never even thought about it, probably cause I don't have kids. I never wanted kids. I really freaking didn't even like kids to be honest. But in order for this shit to end this cycle of drugs and addiction, it has to start with these kids, y'all. Like, I don't know. It just it, it just makes perfect sense to me. Because most addicts, we had a fucked up uh, upbringing, right? There's very few that had a good upbringing and, and, and ended up addicted to drugs. Those are the, the few exceptions, okay? But y'all, where I'm from... We got a whole generation over here that is so fucked up. I don't know where you guys are from, but I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay? I'm scared to even go outside and drive my car, dude. They're fucking carjacking you at the gas stations. They call themselves the Kia boys or whatever. Stealing people's cars. Crashing them into freaking innocent people, y'all. Killing people that don't even have nothing to do with the situation. It's sick. It's sad. It's disgusting. I got 12 year olds over here stealing people's cars. They have guns, getting arrested with guns, y'all. Okay? Like a fucking 10 year old picked up a gun and intentionally shot his mother in the head. Talking about she didn't buy him a VR system. What the fuck? What the fuck? 10 years old, y'all. 10 years old. I don't understand how a 10 year old is able to pick up a gun. I feel that 10 years old, 12 years old, whatever, if they picked up a gun, guys, you, you fucking failed as a parent, okay? This kid had the audacity to say, I'm sorry for killing my mom, but did my package come? What the fuck? He knew what the fuck he was doing. This poor woman is dead because her son picked up a gun. This woman did everything for her child, you guys. I'm gonna probably get a lot of mixed comments and whatever the fuck y'all wanna say. I don't give a fuck. This is the fucking truth. You need to hear it. These fucking kids these days are fucked up and entitled. Think about it like this, guys, okay? I'm just going to say it like this. I'm 42 years old. So that 12-year-old that just stole that car, I'm 30 years older than that 12-year-old, okay? So think about it like this. When we're 80 years old or 90, whatever the fuck age we are, right? And we're in that home, that old folks' home, these 12-year-olds are going to be the ones wiping our asses, you guys, taking care of us in these homes. If we don't fucking help these kids now, we're fucked, guys. Do you want somebody like this taking care of you and your old folks home? Fuck out of here. I didn't think so, god damn it. When the fuck was it okay for these kids at fucking 10 years old and even 6 years old about that 6 year old taking a gun to school and shooting his teacher? What the fuck? When did it become okay to put these poor kids on medication because you don't want to deal with the kid that you brought into this world? What the fuck? That's your responsibility. Okay, like I said, I don't want I didn't want kids. That's why I didn't bring them into this world. How am I going to bring a kid into this world when I'm fucked up on drugs? What what the fuck? Okay? And I respect I respect any woman who had enough sense in their head to give their child up for adoption or put them somewhere else while they were going through their struggle. I respect y'all. 
you had to do what was best for that child at that time don't ever think of yourself less than because that don't make you less than you did not bring that child through your struggle and that makes you better than that okay you can't blame these kids on the people that they hang out with okay i'm gonna hear that shit in the comments too i don't give a fuck because bottom line you guys you're the fucking parent you need to be showing them right from wrong okay i don't need to have a child to fucking know right from wrong you guys okay but guess what i do have two stepchildren i have a beautiful family okay i love my family but i'll be goddamn if either one of them bring a fucking gun in my goddamn house they know no, they know fucking better okay and you want to know why because me and my wife we teach them okay they've been through some shit with their with her and her baby daddy whatever they're 10 and 12 so they remember this shit okay i've been through my own shit why the fuck would i want to bring them through the same bullshit that we just got out of you can't blame them you can't blame it on their friends you guys where the fuck are these kids getting the guns from at six years old? From your fucking closet. These are the questions you need to be asking yourselves. Why do you even have a fucking gun in your house, dude? I don't have one in mind. Don't blame it on your neighborhood or where you live. No, fuck that. Why are your kids getting a hold of your guns, dude? Because you're fucking playing with them in their face, dude. Ain't no fucking child gonna pick up a goddamn gun without you showing them how to play with it or use it? Fuck out of here. I tell my boys, boys don't play with guns, okay? They can't even have a play gun in this fucking house. A good friend of mine told me that. Sorry, I got my little friend here. But a good friend taught me that back in the day. Shout out to Kitty. I love you. I miss you. I swear to God, girl. You know my struggle. But anywho... Uh, she raised her son. She told her son, boys do not play with guns, okay? So guess what? As a single black woman, she raised her son. He is in now high, he graduated high school, now in college. Shout out to Carmani. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. But he is a young black man raised by a single black woman. All from telling him, boys don't play with guns. You have to teach them when they're young, y'all. That's just the example right there. So don't blame their friends. It don't matter who they hang out with. You as the parent teach them right from wrong. So that when a bad influence does fucking come around them, they know fucking better. Then we wonder why these kids are growing up addicted to sex, drugs, and violence. Y'all are in introducing them to this shit at a young age. Just like we were introduced to it. We thought that shit was normal. This shit ain't normal. What the fuck? The dude I've been watching, he made it so clear for me. And like he said, putting people in housing is not going to help the situation. We need to think long term. Long term, guys. And I don't have kids, so I never thought about it like this. But the kids are the future. Okay? How the fuck are you going to bring a child into a fucked up situation and think that they're going to be all right and grow fine? Like, dude, in a way... I think, like, for my little sister, talking about, because she's, she's just doing so fucking amazing. I'm just so proud of her, right? She, she was only 10 years old when my mom passed away of an overdose, off drugs. Uh, I, I wonder, like, if my mom was still alive, would my little sister still be doing this well? She was only 10, man. But again, like I said... It starts with the kids. We got to show them better, you guys. We have to show them better. What the fuck is the alternative? What are we bringing these kids into this world for? Okay? I swear to God, I thank you guys so much for walking, watching, showing support, sharing the video. I mean, if you like it, like it. If you don't, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm just one person trying to create awareness in your community and trying to help you guys. Okay? It's not going to happen overnight, but it's got to start with you, and you got to show these kids better, man. All right? I put my email in the description. You guys can directly get in contact with me at any time, anytime you need to, okay? You do have a 211 in your area. I know you do. Pick up that fucking phone and call for the resources. You guys got it. These kids are our future, man. We got to do better to get better. Make it a great day, and stay tuned for the next video.